Hello guys, it's Eric here again. Uh, in this video, I'll be going over a super simple FPS mod. So what we're going to do is make a new class, just like every mod. We're going to just call this mod FPS. We're going to say extends mod draggable. And it just implements the other methods. And we're going to say private screen position position um, for the width I'm going to return font dot get height for now um, for for or not for the width sorry for the height oops wrong one for the height it's going to be the font height um, and for the width we're going to say return uh, I don't know 50 it sure is not going to be that long. Um, for the save, let's just do this dot position equals position, just like every mod. Then for load, same with every mod, we're going to say return position. And then we're just going to say font dot draw string. Um, for the text, we're just going to draw something super simple like FPS, and then use the say MC dot get debug FPS. Um, if you're on 1.7.10 or lower, um, this method will not exist, um, but you just need to basically create this. Just go into minecraft.java, write this line right here, you should be fine. So, and then for the x and y, we're just going to do pose.getAbsoluteX, pose.getAbsoluteY, color, we'll just make white. And all we need to do now is just go into our mod instance, and we're going to say private static mod FPS mod FPS. Just copy this. Say mod FPS equals new mod FPS mod FPS, and now we should be able to run our client, and we should see that. We have an FPS counter now. So once this decides to launch, a single player, or a development world, and there we go. I'll move these out of the way. We've got a simple FPS counter. So let's just like move this up here. There we go. It's going to be the same as our F3 menu. It's super simple. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video.